The story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden is one of the most profound illustrations of the human tendency to shift blame and avoid responsibility. Found in Genesis 3 verses 1 to 19, this account highlights the consequences of disobedience and the importance of accepting responsibility for our actions. In the beginning, God placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, a paradise where they had everything they needed. However, God commanded them not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The serpent, described as subtle, deceived Eve into eating the forbidden fruit. Eve then gave the fruit to Adam, and he also ate. When God confronted them, Adam blamed Eve, saying, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Eve, in turn, blamed the serpent, saying, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Neither of them took responsibility for their disobedience. What lessons can we draw from this? First, shifting blame does not absolve us of the consequences of our actions. Despite their excuses, Adam and Eve were both held accountable. God pronounced judgment upon the serpent, Eve, and Adam, each receiving a punishment that reflected their role in the fall. This teaches us that while we may try to avoid accountability, we cannot escape the repercussions of our choices. One might wonder why Adam didn't simply admit his fault and ask God for forgiveness. Instead of humbling himself, he pointed fingers, even subtly implicating God by saying, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me. This attitude reflects the pride and fear that often prevent us from acknowledging our mistakes. But had Adam confessed and sought God's mercy, the outcome might have been different. The Bible reminds us in Proverbs 28, 13, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Accepting responsibility for our actions is not just about owning up to mistakes. It is a transformative act that opens the door to growth and success. When we stop blaming others or external circumstances, we regain control over our lives. Blaming others keeps us stagnant, trapped in a cycle of excuses and unfulfilled potential. On the other hand, taking ownership allows us to learn from our failures and make better choices moving forward. Consider the inspiring story of Nelson Mandela. Despite enduring 27 years of imprisonment under apartheid, Mandela refused to blame his captors for the course of his life. Instead, he chose forgiveness and took responsibility for leading South Africa toward reconciliation and progress. His ability to rise above blame and bitterness transformed him into a global symbol of resilience and leadership. Mandela's life shows us that accepting responsibility, even in the face of injustice, empowers us to achieve greatness. Many people today fall into the blame game, attributing their failures to their parents, their upbringing, their race, or their circumstances. While these factors can pose challenges, they do not determine our destiny. For instance, a child born into poverty does not have to remain poor. The Bible assures us in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Success is not limited by our background, but by the limits we place on ourselves. Blaming others robs us of the opportunity to reflect, grow, and take action. It creates a mindset of victimhood, where we wait for others to change our circumstances instead of taking the initiative ourselves. As James 1, 2 to 4 teaches, challenges and trials are opportunities for growth and perseverance, leading to maturity and completeness. When we embrace this perspective, we stop viewing obstacles as excuses and start seeing them as stepping stones. To overcome the blame game, we must adopt a mindset of accountability. Acknowledge your mistakes, learn from them, and move forward. Stop waiting for apologies or reparations from others before you take charge of your life. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. As the Bible says in Romans 8, verse 37, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. In closing, let us take the lessons from Adam and Eve as a reminder to take responsibility for our actions. When we accept accountability, we position ourselves for growth, success, and a closer relationship with God. Do not let excuses or blame hold you back from achieving your dreams. Take action. Trust in God and believe in your ability to overcome. If this message inspired you, share it with someone who needs to hear it today. Let us spread the word that our destiny is not dictated by our circumstances, but by the choices we make. Subscribe for more uplifting content 
and let's grow together on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment.